don't really have to work on my basic things. Recently, we have heard lots of complaints about rubbish that we produce and it's like being contained plastic. There are about 400 million tons of plastic which are thrown away by every person per year. I'm sure all of us are aware that plastic is really hard to decompose, which can deteriorate our environment. Speaking about our environment and plastic, we have invited special guests, Professor Ayman, Professor Dia, and Professor Dina to explain more about it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Plastic is very useful to us but also gives us a lot of disadvantage and will affect our future generation. Did you know, plastic took about 450 years to decompose. I believe you've heard of plastic combustion. It is very bad for our environment as it releases methane gas which can destroy the ozone layer. Instead of throwing or burning the plastic away, you can recycle the plastic. But recycling plastic can be complicated because there are many types of plastic. Don't worry, physics has the answer. Physics has many ways to sort plastic. One of them is flotation sorting, which differentiates the plastic whether it float or sink. The sorted plastic is ready to be break down but with chemistry method. Let's invite Professor Leah. Thank you, Professor Ahmad. Well, it is not to to Professor Lee. Plastic bags. In chemistry, we suggest to be hydrolytic method as a method to recycle plastic bags and rubber. For example, like tires, toys, and cars. Bags will melt under high temperature around 300 to 900 degrees Celsius with no presence of oxygen. And it can produce crude oil or bio oil. Bio oil is a synthetic fuel as a substitute for petroleum. Since today onwards, the uses of petroleum is getting lower. Hence, we use our method to replace the use of petroleum sources. And don't worry too much about the usage of bio oil because it is renewable and it has to benefit towards our environment. We invite Professor Lina to explain about how biology can reduce usage of plastic. Thank you, Professor Lina. There are a few things that can help to improve the environment to reduce plastic. The first one is use metal straw instead of plastic straw. The second one is Use plug bags when shopping to avoid the use of plastic bags. Furthermore, there are also a method of superworm keeping styrofoam. Superworm has enzymes in their gut which can effectively digest styrofoam. By this, we can reduce styrofoam in short period since styrofoam took about 500 years to decompose. We have to use this method so that the future generation will not be affected by styrofoam, as styrofoam is non biodegradable which can cause land and water pollution. Thank you, Professor. That is all for today. Thank you.